So it, it's a good question um, that we have today how to use Lonsir for Stivarga after patients have received all the standard drugs including 5 fu oxaliplatin, areno tecan, an anti-VEGF, an anti-EGF if they're RAS wild type. Be those are the patients that were tested in both studies in a very similar way and both drugs seem to have a similar amount of activity in that patient population. But there are differences in the toxicity and how the drugs are tolerated. So um, I would say that uh, Stivarga causes more fatigue, uh, skin rash, diarrhea, and in the current doses that are indicated are, is a little hard to tolerate for most patients who are heavily pretreated. And so you have to kind of either start at a somewhat lower dose or uh, give it to a very robust patient. On the other hand, um, uh, Lonsurf, because it's another anti-metabolite, has very few side effects except for lowering blood counts. And usually you see the low blood counts on week four. In fact, uh, some of the analyses, including uh, data being presented at the meeting here, show that the patients who have neutropenia on day 28 at the end of the first month of therapy are the ones who do the best. And the patients who have grade three neutropenia have a better survival than people who have grade one or two neutropenia. So uh, that was shown in the recourse study and also in a publication we had looking at patients from four institutions on expanded access that the patients who have neutropenia actually do better. And so we suggest that you wait an extra week to start the lawn surf in the second cycle, but those people will tend to do better, even if you have to give it two weeks on every five weeks instead of every four weeks.